Remember the last video when everything was going wrong? What did Jeff do? Jeff, what are you doing, man? You, you destroyed the wall. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we're gonna be fixing as many of those problems as we possibly can. Starting with the shark and the Bermuda Triangle. We need wheelchair accessibility for this gap. Well, there's some bad news. We got about 36 inches in between here right now. But that might not fit a wheelchair. So we're waiting to get back from the city to see if we need to chunk that out. We gotta just figure it out. But we don't have the time to waste, so we're already welding it in place. Permanent. Forever. And ever. And that was only one of the dozen or so problems we had today. Problem number 12. I got over to Legacy this morning and I was so excited to find out. Felipe's back! What's up, dude? And yes. My time. We're buffing the top of the acrylic. Felipe's only got like a day or so to get all of these tanks buffed, get them all polished, looking beautiful as ever. Let me show you one of the ones he's got done already. And you can see this one's already buffed. Look at how absolutely gorgeous that acrylic's gonna look when it's all cleaned up. reasons why people are so scared of snakes is because way back when biological thing was like hey I don't know what that is that looks like something dangerous not all snakes are venomous or poisonous because there's only one snake that's venomous and poisonous but way back when we didn't have the scientific research and stuff to show that these snakes were not venomous or poisonous so whenever you saw a snake Tori here for example when she gets scared or upset she rattles her tail and that's gonna hit something hard like a leaf it sounds like a rattlesnake and that's just her saying stay away from me but to most people they didn't know that it wasn't a rattlesnake Snake. You just hear that, boom, they kill the snakes. And that's no point. And that's our job here at the Reptarium is to get people over their fears. And that's why having a two-headed snake like Ben and Jerry is really gonna help people get over their fears because you have somebody come in and then we use this as a tool. Be like, wow, you're interested. Like, you don't want to look at it, but you gotta look at it. Do you think it's because they don't have any arms or legs? Like that's it's, pretty freaky. I mean, most of the time, yes. They don't have arms or legs. I mean, a lot of people like lizards, but they don't want anything to do with snakes. So it's probably one of the biggest things is they don't have legs or hands. Seeing the shark stand here is uber exciting. I mean, obviously we're all so stoked about it, but it is causing a lot of anxiety. The biggest problem is, is that we still have to weld this completely in place. We have to shim it, clean it, and then eventually paint it. And all before Alex gets here, Alex is the guy setting up the shark tank. He's supposed to be here Wednesday. Like Brian would always say, domino effect. If he gets here Wednesday and isn't able to start working on the shark tank, it's going to delay his time. Delays his time, it's gonna delay Dante's time. Dante's the guy giving us the coral insert. Everything needs to get done perfect in order for this project to work the way that we want it to. And right now it's definitely giving us a little anxiety. We can start leeching now. What we were waiting for was the backdrops to be painted. This is the stingray enclosure, which you will be allowed to swim in. Now that it's painted, we can fill the sucker up and let it leech for two weeks. The new problem that we gotta figure out how we're gonna do is my dad ordered a giant water tower <laughs> mining <laughs> sifting system <laughs> we gotta figure out where we're gonna place this look at these two pieces what the heck that's an actual water tower okay yeah, this is the little lid this will be on its feet right there they'll have water in here okay it's gonna come down oh my god there's more <laughs> <laughs> i keep turning around there's more stuff cool so now the the water will drip down here drip down here go down a pipe come out Somewhere? Uh, yeah, I don't know where. Dad was talking about this for years and years and years. God, it's it's crazy. This is all him. I mean, nobody else <laughs> really wanted this. He's like, we gotta have this mining thing, blah, blah, blah. This is really special, you know? It's awesome to see it show up today. Yeah. That's cool. Hey guys, look at the rest of this. You thought that was all of it? <laughs> this is all of it right here. How many times have we seen dad doing this? Just in the air though. <laughs> He's just doing it. And they're gonna be able to sift through the gold. And now look at this is the actual one where the kids will have the little pans wherever they are. Wow, this thing is massive. We're not putting it together today though. That's for another vlog. But we do need to find a place to put them because that is not gonna work and those two have to come inside. And snakes don't really sense fear in the way that people think. Your energy and your vibe when you go into dealing with a snake does have a lot to do with the interaction itself. Ryan and I actually went down to Underground Reptiles over in Florida and saw this. Good energy here, so please don't startle anybody. And guys, these are three wild caught. Always, always venomous, working with the venomous here underground. Freshly shipped Egyptian cobras. But a lot of handling, a lot of care, a lot of respect. That's absolutely amazing. You there's an energy here that there's a lot of work where nobody sees, you know? Oh, you're doing a great job, man. It's amazing. Dude. But as crazy as that is, he does have a point. When you're stressed out or in fear, you start to tremble a little bit, your muscles tighten up, maybe you start sweating a little heart bit, heart rate goes faster, and animals can sense that stuff. If you walk into a room and everyone's tense, 
you can feel it too. So although crazy and definitely would not recommend doing it at home, how wild is that to see somebody handle three wild freshly shipped Egyptian Cobras? What? She's is she farting? Look, she's peeing right now, dude. I can see the bubbles coming up. I'm glad you can. You why are you so sad? I literally just cleaned and it as soon as I go to move the vacuum to do other water. She's gonna start peeing again. I don't know under condos. Where the heck my my water tower? We got a water tower, Debbie. Right this way, you got like four feet. You're good. That's probably good right there. You got some space, but. Ow! <laughs> and it looks like Jeff finished the wall. What a guy. Give us a breakdown of the wall. Oh, I thought it was gonna be something challenging. I'm feeling awesome about it. I'm actually really glad that we actually took it down and yeah. put it back up. And the line looks way line straighter. Looks a lot oh, everything looks a lot straighter. You know, it's down inside the water now. Yeah, I, I'm really happy with it. If you're happier after than before, Yes. That's a good thing. I actually want to get in with the pond van, clean all this out so we're not sucking any debris up and putting it through the nozzles. It's good. I hate when debris gets in my nozzles. <laughs> I'm serious. And that's not the only problem that Jeff helped us fix today. And just to give you an idea, this is what it looks like all rough and see all the cut lines and all that stuff. So before it's buff, this is how it looks. And it's a pretty crazy process where they literally have to use a torch to melt the acrylic, to smooth it out a little bit. And then they use different grits of sandpaper to get the desired look. We obviously want like a shiny polished finish. And that's what Felipe and Ishmael are going for while they're buffing this acrylic out. Now it's time to start buffing out the Archer enclosure. I think it's gonna look absolutely sick. Dad used to wear the most amazing shirt. It said, don't fear, respect. If you guys don't know what that means, let me explain it to you. A lot of you guys see me with Vlad and think that I'm fearful of him. Honestly, all I'm doing is respecting his boundaries because at the end of the day, he's still a wild animal. I am a little hesitant of his reactions and things like that, but it's not because I'm fearful. It's because I need to respect that boundary. It's something that I'm not used to. I don't really handle a lot of animals that act and react the way that he does. Handle them? Yeah, handle them right oh, now. Oh God. Okay. It's for the peace. It's for the, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. Mm. Mm. I mean, I'm just showing you guys the respect that I have for him. Is, I'm gonna just leave him in because- No, 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 no. I can't. It's not good for the peace. Oh God. You wanna do another animal? <laughs> just being respectful of it's just being respectful of the animal. And also, I don't know Vlad like that. Vlad doesn't know me like that. Me and Oz, we go way back. Respect. And look at this. I see water, Jeffy. I see a lot of water, that's what we want. I drilled a bunch of holes. I don't, didn't want to really pound the ice. Okay. Stuck it in there with the bubbler, and that heat from the de-icer brings that heat to the surface and melted all the ice underneath there. So that'll keep our koi fish alive. Please don't come visit and take them. Thank you. Good news though, when Alex is here, he's supposedly gonna try to help us get this coral into that tank over there. Alex will be here Wednesday and I'm excited to meet him because he's a very capable person when it comes to these tanks. So he's gonna be helping us with the shark tank. He's gonna be setting up this bridge tank and even helping with the coral. Blue Grizzly and the team got us more stands. And as you can tell, there's some pretty cool colors. We got orange. And we got pink. And each color of the stands will match the fish. And these will be in the glowfish room, the dark room. And even though these stands will Even though these stands will really never be seen by the public ever. It's all about the details with Dad and with Bashy. They're gung-ho about details. So just having this little extra thing right here is special. And these are what the normal stands will look like. I have no idea where they're supposed to go. Even the size of this is massive. Believe it or not, guys, Peppa was one of the most scariest snakes in my opinion when I first started working here. I know that sounds super silly because she's literally adorable and tiny, but she does this thing where she like mock charges and she gets very hissy, and blows up her face. She gives a lot of defensive indicators when you go in the cage with her. And I was like, not to mention she's rear fang venomous. I've never been bit by anything rear fang venomous it might be nothing but like also i'm like my mind is so paranoid anxious that i'd go something could happen i could have a bad reaction learned her behavior a lot more i've become more familiar with this animal and so now i'm, I'm not as afraid of picking her up i just kind of go for it 99.9 percent .9 of the time she isn't actually trying to bite me and connie's 100 percent right the opposite of fear is knowledge so the more you learn about an animal the more you learn about the way that it acts the way that it comes at you you start chipping away at that fear and you start having a lot more more respect for the animal that you're dealing with. So go out there, do your research, learn about the animals that maybe give you a little bit of fear, and let's see if you can change that into some respect for those beautiful creatures.
They've been buffing acrylic all day, and this is the first time that I've actually seen it, and wow. I was not sure how this window would look. This one might actually be my favorite. Look at how clear this is coming out. My favorite part is actually seeing the tree from like this side angle right there. It is so amazing what Ahmed and his team did. You would actually think that this was a real tree. To know what it came from and to be able to have that on video forever. Oh man, this entire project's really special. And I was so infatuated with the acrylic and the log. I didn't even notice that they painted brown all on this wall. This whole place is really coming together. And that's why it's important not to freak out. <gasps> but in all, see, ooh, all seriousness, guys. You can't freak out when something's not going your way. You know, bad days happen, but it's just important to tough it out. Tomorrow might be a better day, like today was. Just got a lot of stuff done today. Ah, my knee, I think I popped it out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.